Hello, everyone. Uh, our um, project name is Fresh Farm Picking. Uh, this uh, project comes from the owner's idea. Um, the first one, Australia is a large agricultural country, has a great business protection. The second one is promoting the green movement is a positive activity. Um, this website, we uh, have two sets of users. The first one, and most, first and most, is our uh, uh, users for consumer side. Uh, in the future, we plan to uh, add a, a farm provider port. Um, for consumer side, we uh, imagine our customers uh, are middle-aged, uh, have a, a child or children. Uh, they lived in um they they uh want to search a one day trip um so uh <clears throat> and we we uh based on all the uh elements from the nature like uh, so we pick brown uh, from soil water from lake and the green from forest and the other uh icon ui design all comes from the product it themselves and our ui design uh Already standard, uh, all the type typographies, all the um tags or uh, and icons. For our team structure, the owners uh, are Ri Ma and Wen Suo, and we have a front uh, and team have a uh, one leader and two um BA and uh, six staffs. Um, about the Jiang Jiang Ren second term, um, we have five students, one BA and uh, uh four. Devs. Um, back back end team we have one BA and one Dev. Other teams uh one DevOps, two UI UX, and one tech support. The left side is the current website status. Uh, we can see uh it lack of some features. Only one map. We can't select by date or select by uh users numbers. And the UI incompleted. Uh, all the elements are used uh, by dummy data. Not enough UI for structure and uh, co components. For this pro um, project plan, um, on the uh, first uh, quarter, we plan to do UI update. And later, we can, uh, fulfill the features. And the team uh, workflow, we adopted Agile. Uh, to Fortnite is a sprint, and we adopted uh, user story points uh, one, two, three, five. <clears throat> and each sprint, every dev needs to finish at least three point tasks. Uh, next, uh, Gary will introduce some data flow. Hi, everyone. I will introduce the overview of our project's database and workflow. Our project's database has three main tables. They are farm, activity, and booking. Now let's go into details. Uh, the farm table stores details about each farm, in, including its name, location, description, photos, and contact information. Farms filtered by category or location are displayed on the listing pages. User can also switch to the map view to find farms near them. On farm pages, user can find more information about the specific farm, including its address, contact details, and description. The farm page shows activities as well. User can find av uh, available activities and their descriptions. The activity table contains information about various activity on each farm, such as horse riding, food picking, and camping. The bookings table store reservation details, such as the uh, uh, customers' information, activity details, dates, booking status, and more. Currently, our design is a, a booking can only contain one activity. We may develop the card feature that the user can select several activities during one booking process. Before users start the booking, they need to log in their account. On the booking page, user will go in and submit visitors' information. Once the booking is created, the confirmation page will show user all the booking details. They will also receive a confirmation email with a PDF attachments. Uh, when user want to review their booking history, they can find them on the account page. Okay, that's all about the database and the workflow. Thank you. 
Okay, I will introduce our feature parts in details. Uh, this part will be divided into five aspects. Uh, the first one is a user registration and account management part. Uh, here, the main user of our product can be divided into three group of people, uh, farm owner, employees, and visitors. Our product plan is to realize the registration and sign-in, sign-out features of different users while implemented third-party login. And also, after login, the user can manage their account information with interface to check and edit their profiles. Then next uh, is farm product management page that we plan to implement in future. Uh, it enables farm owners to create and manage their profiles uh, and also their product information, including contact information, description, product information, and photos. Uh, next. Uh, is our activities display part. For the home page, we designed to use this page to display the overall information of our available activities. Uh, this page will have location filter based on the location get from uh, map API. It will load different activities to users. On the top, it also provides advanced filters with specified location, date, and people. After entering search button, it will jump to form list page with filtered content. Here, in, uh, here, in left side, we designed to use a more specific filter bar to do further filtration. After selecting one form from this page, the user will jump to the details page. Uh, please, next. Uh, which uh, this page will uh, include the comprehensive details of farms. Uh, the user can also do the booking here. They can select uh, their preferred time and also the uh, people according to their requirement. Uh, for the booking uh, feature, they need to provide the personal information to complete the whole cycle. Uh, in this part, in future, we may integrate the payment. Uh, after confirmation, the user will jump to the confirmation page please next uh, this uh, this page will show some important information of these uh, activities besides user can also find a booking history in their account and do some modification please next uh, yes that's this page uh, last there are some uh, please next Last, there are some potential features we may want to implement in future, like visitor rates and review, chatbot and live chat, and also multilingual that enhance the user experience and overall systems. And uh, this is all for feature parts. And then let me in briefly introduce the tech, tech stacks uh, will be implemented in our project. I divided it into three parts. First one is front end part. Our project front end framework is React with Redux to do the state management. We also use TypeScript, which supports a strong typing and ensure our uh, program robust. And also we use MUI library to help develop the component in our product, uh, in our system. And we also implement either um, static web apps, which automatically builds and deploys full stack web apps to either from a code repository, provide convenience. Besides, we use either AD, uh, sorry, sorry, previous, uh, yeah, uh, either AD B2C to realize the user authentication. Next is the backend part. We choose to use a series of either service, including functions and either API management, a cloud-based service. It enables developer to publish, maintain, and monitor their APIs in a secure and a reliable manner. Last, for our database part. Uh, yeah, we, we, we will use either Circle database and either Cosmos database based on MongoDB. Uh, that's all for 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 this part, uh, please, um, Diana will introduce the next part. Hi everyone, <clears throat> this is our Azure Service Architecture diagram. The Agile service we use is Azure DevOps. The services that our de developers use are the followings. Next, please. The project is based on SWA, Static Web App, Azure, a Static Web App. It is a service that automatically builds and deploys both front end and back end from a code repo like GitHub. Uh, apps are built and developed based on a daily code changes. 
for traffic control, we use Azure Front Door and Load Balancer. Front Door it is for CDN, optimizing global routing or user performance and reliability. Load Balancer, next page, is to uh, efficiently distribute is to ex efficiently distribute incoming network traffic across backend servers or resources. It works at the transport layer. Our static assets are served from points geographically distributed across the world. It makes serving files much faster, much faster as files are physically closer to end users. Static files are stored in blob storage. It is optimized for storing massive amounts of unstructured data. Next page. Backend APIs are served with a serverless architecture called Azure Functions. It lets us focus on the code that matters most to us without worrying about deploying and maintaining servers. It integrates directly with Visual Studio. The relationship between SWA and Functions is that SWA provides built-in API endpoints via Azure Functions. It's way simpler for bigger projects. And API management is a modern API gateway. It allows that any request to our app with a root that starts with slash API are proxied to the same root in the Azure API management service. We can even link multiple SWAs to the same API. Another service that integrates with Azure Function, next page, please. Yeah, another service that integrates with Azure Functions is Azure Cognitive Search. It is an AI-first approach to content understanding. Our business-related data is stored in Azure SQL database. When we connect it with the connection string, next page, please, a database password is needed. We cannot put that in our code, so we need a security key vault. Next page, please. Azure Active Directory B2C provides login services. It takes care of the scaling and safety of the authentication platform. Next, please. For big projects, we need to monitor our resources. For example, how many API calls we get per hour. Azure Monitor can do all of the statistical functions for us. For managing the projects and the libraries of the whole company, we use monorepo concept. A monorepo is a single repository containing multiple projects with well-defined relationships. There is no need to publish version package if all consumers are in the same repo. The monorepo tool we are using is TurboRepo. Turbo is built on workspaces, only rebuilt the changed files and it has local, a local computation catching system, which make it very fast. Turbo lets us configure and control our tasks and their relationships in the monorepo. That's everything. Thank you for watching, everyone.